Well, I knew this was coming, but Mixer is officially dead. Let's talk about it. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Saga! Man, oh man, two gamers thoughts back to back. Hey everyone, uh, Gamer J Lee here, and welcome back to another video. And yeah, Mixer is officially going away. As of July 22nd, Mixer will be no more and will be integrated into Facebook gaming. That is, oh my God, that is, <laughs> it's been less than a year since everyone was pushing for Mixer to become the new equal to Twitch. And in less than a year, that has all slipped away and to no one's surprise, honestly, Mixer for the past few months has been going downhill. And I would say they've been going downhill ever since the beginning of 2020, whenever I left Mixer. But let's get into that in just a minute. Let's read Mixer's statement to the community. Mixer partners, streamers, and community. Today, we've got some very big news. Yeah. You could say that one again. Well, we've decided to close the operation side of Mixer. We are officially partnering with at Facebook gaming and we are cordially inviting you all to join. Oh boy. This is, this is totally a great way to start off your statement of, Hey, we're done here. Starting today, Facebook gaming will make it easy for anyone in the Mixer community to join. We're thrilled about the opportunities this opens up for partners, streamers, and viewers. For any questions, go here. And Facebook gaming is on hand to help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to laugh while reading this because for any of you who know anything about Facebook's gaming live streaming service, it's all a sham. It's all basically pay to get clicks and viewers. It's so stupid and terrible business that trying to announce that they're going to Facebook gaming is like trying to announce that, Hey, tomorrow your job, well, it's going to be basically going from something that actually works to something where you probably will not have a job within a week for mixer partners. If you choose to join Facebook gaming, you will be offered partner status with them and all existing partner agreements will be honored and matched as closely as possible. So they're not even saying that they're going to match the exact partner agreement that they had with mixer. They're going to match it as closely as possible. So basically, um, it's out of our hands, not our fault. Have a nice life. <laughs> For streamers participating in Mixer's open monetization program, you'll be granted eligibility for the Facebook gaming level up program. So you can continue to grow and monetize your streams. We're thankful for those of you that shared our passion with us. We hope to see your positive, welcoming and inclusive communities on Facebook gaming. More on that in a minute. Mixer will remain online and running until July 22nd. As always, Bye-bye, good luck, and good riddance. That's how people found out that Mixer was going away yesterday. That's how every community member, partner, and streamer found out. And you know what? I was not surprised. I was not surprised that they were going to be shutting down because I had this feeling in my gut from the moment that I left Mixer early in the beginning of the year to today, only seven months later, six months later, that this was going to happen. I, I knew it. I had the feeling in my stomach because they were doing nothing to improve the platform. They were not adding new features. They were not adding new features to help streamers grow. All they did was buy out a few big streamers like Ninja, kiss your mother with that fucking mouth, like Shroud, like Ewok, and then say, hey, look what we got. We've got the top creators. And then did nothing, did nothing to help other streamers grow, to build the platform and make it more progressive for smaller creators 
to grow. And I don't mean progressive in the social justice warrior state. I mean progressive as in progression in growing your platform, in progression in growing your, your talent. They did none of that. They just spent hundreds of millions of dollars, which we'll get into in a second, and said, hey, make it work. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I was streaming with Mixer for a small period of time late last year. I went over to Mixer because I was tired of Twitch's double standards, and there are still a lot of problems with Twitch. But Twitch provides streamers a opportunity to grow. They give them the tools they need to gain an audience. And now, is it perfect? No, hell no. But is it better than anything Mixer did? Yes, 110%. I mean, there was only one true thing going for Mixer, maybe two. You had some of the top creators on the platform, which honestly, Ninja had already started to lose some of his relevancy by the time he went over to Mixer. And then you had the instant interaction between viewer and streamer. And one thing I can say about Twitch is their latency is getting better and better by the day. I have some of the quickest reactions with my viewers on Twitch, and I'm just using the basic low latency mode that they offer. It's not instant like what Mixer was, but it's still not terrible. If that's the only thing you have going for you, then that's pretty pathetic. Because in all honesty, the Mixer UI sucked. I know that there's a lot of Xbox fanboys out there that will say it was absolutely fucking amazing, but it sucked. It wouldn't load properly half the time. It was laggy as shit whenever you would try and scroll through their website. And honestly, it wasn't that appealing. I'm sorry, but it's true. Look, what I'm trying to say is, is that Mixer was fucked up internally and externally. Internally, you had terrible conversations between management and staff to the point of talking about how content creators on your platform are slaves. Yeah, that's a controversy that recently popped up. And uh, with today's climate and everything going on in 2020, that is um, pretty awkward. Then externally, you had people outside of Mixer trying to make suggestions, trying to help them improve the platform with management basically not listening or rejecting anything they had to say. I made suggestions of you guys need to do something to help your talent grow. You need to grow homegrown talent and try and build up your platform so that you aren't just relying on Ninja or Shroud, yet they did nothing. They continue to try and push the narrative. Hey, we got Ninja. Hey, we've got Shroud. Hey, we've got Ewok. Yet nothing improved. I don't think there was one major improvement ever since I joined Mixer. And I don't think there was any improvements after I left. And let's talk about Ninja and Shroud because honestly, I've got a bit of a beef with them with how they handled things. They did nothing to help people on Mixer grow. They got their buyouts of, oh, $30 million for Ninja and $10 million for Shroud. But then there was nothing that they did really to earn that money. They came onto the platform, did their job. But you know what the worst part was is that they should be doing things to help smaller creators grow. But every time you would see them live, they would be either streaming with a Twitch streamer or a YouTube streamer, but very rarely anyone from Mixer. And the other thing is, is that they could have been doing things to help smaller Mixer creators grow, getting them over, getting more eyes on their platforms. But unfortunately, they didn't do that. They wanted to hang out with their buddies from Twitch and YouTube that decided, ah, no, I'm not going over to Mixer and just continue to stream and get into little petty arguments like what Ninja used to do. But the thing is, is that no, no one ever grew on Mixer because no one ever tried to get anyone over. Recently, I watched the final part of The Undertaker's The Last Ride documentary, and in that documentary, they talk about how The Undertaker was very influential in growing other people's career, including Jeff Hardy, Edge, Randy Orton, and so on and so forth. How he would try and put them over so because he knew that he wasn't always going to be around. Well, the truth is, is that Shroud and Ninja are not always going to be around. And I really think that Ninja isn't going to be around much longer after getting a $30 million buyout. You two blew a major opportunity to actually have some competition with Twitch. 
Instead of helping smaller creators grow, you did your normal stick of coming onto the platform and continuing to stream with your clicks. Instead of maybe pulling in a few new mixer creators and trying to help them grow, you just continue to do your normal work ethic of, hey, I'm gonna hang out with Tim the Tab Man, or I'm gonna hang out with this person over here, or I'm gonna hang out with my former esports buddy. You did nothing to help smaller creators, and that's why Mixer died. It was because you just came, took the money, and then did your normal stick. You did nothing to help a platform that you defended so hard, Ninja. I mean, for God's sake, every time someone would take a shot at Mixer, Ninja would act so goddamn defensive. And I'm sure that maybe Prince might find some clips or something. I don't care about my, my viewers on Mixer, man. Like, and when I mean my viewers, like the number. So many people, it's their number one roast. It's their number one way to go, man. I mean, both times, like, Turner's trying to insult me, man. He's talking about how, like, I need clout. My views are going down. Taking, taking pictures of my of my freaking, you know, of, of the lowest that my stream numbers are every day. I'm still pulling on Twitter and on Instagram and on TikTok millions of views. Millions of views of video. When I upload Fortnite to YouTube, I get millions of views. I'm doing just fine, man. But he would act so defensive of Mixer. It was just... It was petty, yet you did nothing to get the platform over besides be there. And that's because of your egotistical fucking bullshit, dude. You did nothing. Now, Shroud, he didn't really defend Mixer, but he did nothing to help the platform grow. He did nothing to get talent over. It's sad because they had a key opportunity with Mixer to help it grow. And yes, a lot of it's on management, but you guys have a key influence, especially on that platform, and you did nothing. I have friends that are now trying to scramble and decide where they're gonna go next. Are they gonna go back to Twitch? Are they gonna go to YouTube? Are they gonna go to Facebook gaming? Hell no. But the thing is, is that they're trying to decide, and a lot of them are saying, I'm done. Mixer was kind of my last opportunity because I don't like how Twitch works. I don't like their double standard. I don't like how YouTube gaming is because honestly, that platform is so unoptimized for live streaming. And I even tried live streaming on there recently and it was terrible. And then Facebook, Facebook is ju just a joke. Like it makes Mixer look absolutely amazing. But the sad thing is, is that they don't know what to do. And all I can suggest to them is, hey, either go back to Twitch or go on YouTube and start building an audience and then start building influence when you go live and have two channels where you create content and actual video highlights and so on and so forth. And then another channel where you live stream consistently. But those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you're a Mixer creator, tell us your story. Let us know what your experience on Mixer was like. Tell us about your community. I want to hear about it. You can also reach out to me on my socials. All those will be down in the description below. But yeah, let us know your story. Let us know about your experiences because I'm really interested. I want to hear about the good parts of Mixer and how you built your community and how things went for you. Let me know in the comment sections down below. And as always, Gamer J Lee signing out. Saga!